Hey guys, and welcome to the bonus video of Autumn's Journey. Funny story, this is my second time trying to record this because uh, screencast had that thing again where, um, yeah, I recorded what I was saying, but the visuals were that of the previous episode. So, yeah, it was like episode 15 while me talking about the bonus crap. But I don't care about that anymore. I'm just glad I got this series done, and it was a really enjoyable game. Um, let's go through the extras while we go through crap. And stuff uh so we here we got the cgs and chibis um my personal thoughts about the game uh i i personally really like this anime game it's um one of those ones where they don't they don't really um focus too much on like you know like but like uh, going to a one character's route is pretty much just an optional thing and then you can get a normal ending which is still a happy ending instead of like oh your life's terrible because you didn't get with anyone blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't believe I actually did that. Um, uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? Uh, story. Like I said, it did focus more on the story rather than building relationships up with the characters to get good endings with them. Um, I I like that a lot, personally. Um, some people are going to be are probably mad that I didn't go with uh, Elmari's view because I was definitely on that path, but uh, personally, I do like it more. Um, I, I like the normal ending. Like, I I see them all getting along as friends. I don't see or Orly, like, getting... Well, I can see that, but I like I like her better. Um, with, I like... What I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is um, I like Orly better if she's just friends with Kuro and Elmari, um, even though I can see her getting with one of them. Um... Yeah, because, um, what's it, what, what's it, like, I was about to say friendship is magic, but that's too corny and too obvious of a joke, but, uh, Orly seems like the, t um, what's it called, like, it's just, I think it's just fitting if she's just friends with them, I don't see, like, they're just too naive in the heaven kind, it's not like they're trying to make a move on her or anything, um, they're literal. It's a literal, legitimate friendship, and not really anything else. Oh, we're missing one. Um, about that, I don't think I'll be uh, replaying the game just to get the other endings. Um, just because on blind playthroughs, I plan not to like, you know, like guides. This isn't a guide. This is more or less just a blind run through. Actually, that's exactly what it was. But um, <laughs> best CG in the game. Like. I don't feel like it's necessary to to show other endings if you're going just doing a blind run through. It's that your personal experience with the game. Like I uh, like I uh, commented it to someone. I don't like to play to how others want me to play it. But, um, oh, uh, hopefully you didn't hear that. Uh, maybe you probably heard it again, but um. What else? What else can I say? Oh yeah, it's characters. Um, I liked all of the characters. Um, despite Orly being the heroine, I think Ilmari was my favorite, even if I didn't um, end up with him. Um, I really like, like, you know, those... Um, this is gonna be weird for me to say, but he's very much Moe. Um, it's kind of the same appeal that Len, that Kagamina Len has, you know, with like, it's a guy, but he's so overly, like, dramatic and dorky. Not over dramatic, but you know, dorky and dorky and uh, and, and like the the appeal that he, it almost seems like they're a, he's a girl. Um. What else? Uh, Kerr. Kerr was our basic Sundari, but I did like his character development, where he's like not. Not so much stubborn with traveling with Orly anymore. Um, he he definitely matured throughout the game. I'm pretty sure he, uh, they go through more character development during their roots. Orly was probably um, I guess the second least uh second least most developed in the game because um Elmari really didn't go through like a, a life experience. Well, despite the journey, he didn't really like de develop in character except that he does stand up for himself when Orly is in danger. Um, Orly herself, uh, she's our typical, uh, heroine, though she is, I do like her, um, her character because 
she she is a knight. She's a, she's an aspiring knight, and she's not like boring. I was like, it's like her personality isn't her like, isn't her what's it called? Her goal. Her goal isn't her personality. She actually does have other emotions to express other than, oh, I want to be a knight and stuff like that. Uh, um, Lady Bayard. Lady Bayard actually has her own personal profile on the website. Um, I don't understand why, but like. Yeah, she's the only other character with a sprite in the game, so... But, although I don't know why they did that, as she doesn't have, like, a major role, although I'm assuming she she might. She might in the other endings. Um... I, but I did like Lady Barriard a lot, but, um, even if she her... Like, even if her character wasn't really exploited, I, I liked her as a mother figure. Um, I am upset that, like, some some people weren't shown yet, like, yeah, Orly's dad, um, wasn't shown. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I would like to see, like, what Dervishi looked like, and maybe some, um, maybe some of the knights, but that was already covered in the CG. Dervishi, um, it would have been nice if we could, like, see what he looked like, I guess, but, um, I guess it also wasn't very necessary either. Um, music, uh, let's change it. Uh, actually, um, just pick a random one, I guess. Um, what else can we talk about? Um, I can't really do roots since, since I didn't really, um, I didn't actually go with anyone, anyone's roots. Uh, what else can we talk about? Um, oh, yes. Uh, presentation visuals obviously I really like I'm I'm a huge fan of like autumn colors and palettes like that um I think it really captured the essence of autumn it's like the game is spring called autumn's journey you would expect something autumn like and yes this entire journey was throughout autumn um it surprised me because I didn't think that um in retrospect it was kind of short for autumn but then again this is a game I don't think we were going like by days and stuff like that uh, like, there wasn't an actual time. Um, obviously I really like the character designs. I think they, I think they fit, fit accordingly. Like, yeah, Curtis is the Earth Dragon, Omar is the Water Dragon, Orly's just kind of the, uh, Orly's like maybe a representative of Autumn or something like that. Um, music obviously I really love, um. Furlan and Marion, the one that was playing on the title screen every every episode, that's probably my favorite track. I, um, next to it is probably this one, Thank You, which is the ending song that plays at the credits. Um, here, let me pull up the credits. Just all right. I just like to say thanks to this amazing, amazing team uh, for making this amazing ultimate game. It was actually really interesting. Um, it's a breath of fresh air if you don't want to like go to the typical like heroine needs to get with someone or else you won't have a happy ending. Like you don't have to get with someone to have a happy ending. It's happened in real life. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, um, I'm also glad that they didn't go too much with like dirty humor, you know, like with Explicit ex explicit themes except for like I think the the harshest thing was was that fight scene where Orly started bleeding, but Everything else it was like I'm glad it wasn't like too explicit with you know mature stuff because honestly that gets annoying every time I see it Um, Let's see here. What else can we talk about? I really don't have anything. Oh, yes, you're probably wondering um how on earth do you find ultimate games like this? Well, in the description of every video um, of our Autumn's Journey, you can find um, a link to English Ultimate Games, which is the blog um, I follow t to find out about these ultimate games. Um, what else? What else? Oh yes, always in the link. Always in the link. Always a link in the description. Excuse me. Or um, it's a playlist link to autumn's all of the parts of autumn's journey uh the last one i believe is where you can download it and also some of the game's info it's and um 
I have nothing else to say, actually. So, yeah. Um, I guess this this song can express my feelings to the creators of this game. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching as well, because this was my first L LP, and for a blind let's play, I'd say it was pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what is what's the next one gonna be. I might not do an automate game, I might, but I also might not um, do a blind let's play. I could do something that I've already played and do a guide or something. Um, what else can we do? Um... Oh yes, I guess I can put my recommendation. Um, since obviously you might have already watched this entire series, I recommend um, bu uh, not buying it, downloading it. It's a free download. Obviously, it's in the description. Just get it for yourself. You can get, you can see what Kurt sending is. You can see what Omari sending is. Um, I really, I really do recommend you download it for yourself to play it. Um, to get the overall feel of it to, uh, as playing it because it really is one of those games where you don't have to um, feel satisfied from just watching it like I really feel like you need to play it to really immerse yourself so yeah go ahead and download it if you can if you can't well uh, I have I don't know how I'm gonna close that sentence so thank you for watching my first let's play that was Autumn's Journey. Next let's play, who knows. My voice cracked there, but I don't care. I need to end it now. Bye.